This video is brought to you by cdkeyoffice.com, the best and cheapest website for buying digital games, CD keys for Windows and Office products, and gift cards on a discount. Simply make an account using your Facebook or Google account, use the code FOXY for 20% off, and activate your product and enjoy your purchase. Go to the link on top of the description and start shopping on a discount today. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Foxy and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use a PS4 controller on your PC using a USB cable. So the problem with using a PS4 controller on your computer is that you are going to need to have Bluetooth and a lot of people either don't have Bluetooth or they don't want to use it. Another problem is that they might face issues with Windows not actually recognizing or games not recognizing the PS4 controller as an actual controller. This is why I decided to make this video to show you guys how to make your PS4 controller work with Windows. It is really simple and easy. With that said, let's get right into it. First, you are going to need DS for Windows. It is an open source tool that is designed with the specific function of making a PS4 controller work with computers. Head to this link, I will leave it in the description down below. Press download now and it will take you to this GitHub page. Click ds4windows.zip and your download should start. I actually already downloaded this, uh, I have it on my desktop right here. It is going to be a zip file, which means it is a compressed format. To open it you might need WinRAR or 7-zip or you can just use the built-in Fire Explorer on Windows. Either way, I will leave the links for WinRAR and 7-zip and 7 in the description down below in case you need them. Extract your files to, an, to the, a folder, just like so. And as you can see, open the file and you are going to be faced with two new applications. The DS4 Windows updater and the actual DS4 Windows. Open the updater first, of course, so you can, you know, update what you have. As you can see, it says DS4 Windows is up to date. If this is your first time opening DS4 Windows, it might actually ask you to install drivers and then restart your PC. If it does, then all you need to do is press install and then restart your PC. It is really simple. After that, go back to the updater and then it should say DS4 Windows is up to date, then open then you can press open DS4 Windows or you can just close this and open DS4 Windows like so. As you can see, DS4 Windows has now opened. This is actually my controller, so what you should do now, go ahead and get your controller and a USB cable, connect it to your PC and connect the USB cable to your controller like so. And as you can see, my actual uh, controller is actually glowing up right now in blue and my DS4 Windows application has actually registered the controller, which is really good. Now, if you want to, if you want to edit anything about your controller, you can do so right here. Um, you can use this pad right here as your mouse pad if you want to. As you can see, I'm using it as my controller. I'm using it as my mouse pad. I can do so. This is the left stick, the right stick. Everything is working perfectly. It is literally that easy. You can even test your controller's um, vibration. I don't know. If, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's vibrating right now. You can test that even. And yeah, this is basically it. Obviously, this is connected via USB, and it, the battery status is full. You can even change what color your controller is going to be glowing in so you can play around with the RGB and you can select whatever color you want. I'm going to keep it at blue. And now all you need to do is minimize this, launch whatever game you want and you will be able to play whatever game you want. It is literally that easy. In games like FIFA 21 and some games, you're going to run into problems. I'm going to be making a dedicated video to help you solve your issues with FIFA and like that, so stay tuned for that. But DS4 Windows will basically solve most of your problems with most of the games using a PS4 controller. Just make sure before you actually launch a game is to actually have DS4 Windows running in the background as you can see as I have it right now and you should be good to go. Anyways guys, this would wrap it up for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys learned something new. If you did, then be sure to leave a like rating on today's video so you can help this video reach as many people as possible. And who knows, you putting a like might get my video in front of the people who need it the most. And you, you might actually participate in helping them, you know, achieve their goal of using their PS4 controllers for, your, for PC games. Anyways guys, thank you guys so much for watching. 
Hit the subscribe button. I'm on my way to 5,000 subscribers, and all the help is appreciated. Leave a comment if you didn't understand anything. I will be sure. To, I'll be sure to help you. I read all of the comments. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.